Hi everyone. This evening I was to the local YMCA to use their swimming pool for my water-based physiotherapy. I had a really special moment after finishing in the pool tonight. The local YMCA has a program called Parents Night Out. It's a very inexpensive child minding service for children aged 6 to 12. The children are dropped off at 6 p.m. They have a choice of one of three activities, one of which is the swimming pool. And then after their time in their pool, they're given their bedtime snack and often the children who come to use the pool change into their pajamas so when their parents pick them up at nine o'clock they're literally ready to go to bed it's an excellent opportunity for parents to just be themselves and have a little bit of downtime or if they need to go shopping they can do so or they could just be a couple at home and have a chance for a meaningful dialogue. I certainly encourage you to lobby for a program like this to happen at your local community center or local pool. It's so important for families to be able to build a strong relationship and be of one mind in how to raise the family's children. After I finished in the pool tonight, one of the boys that came to the Parents Night Out program saw me using my electric wheelchair. He asked me, is there something wrong with my leg? A lot of people haven't been able to quite work out what's wrong with me. I don't quite fit people's paradigm of a medical diagnosis. So I briefly explained in very simple terms that my hips wore out and that I got replacements and that the doctor told me to come to the pool to do my exercises. He asked me if I would always be in the wheelchair and I said to him, no, I just have about two more years to go. It's actually a little bit longer than that in reality, but I was just trying to keep it simple for a child to understand. And he said to me, well, you look young. Looks like you're going to live more than two years, so you'll be able to walk again. I really love children. You know, they're simple. They speak their mind, and I like that directiveness as well. Their innocence comes through, and the inquisitive nature that they have to learn about the world around them. Anyway, this young boy has really made my night and gave me a good smile before I left today. Thank you for this time you spent with me. Bye for now.